Got questions about modern gun school? Stay tuned. That's what we're going to talk about today. Good morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about modern uh, gun school, and I do have a little bit of a story uh, behind this, and, and I think it'll be pretty interesting to see how uh, this unfolds. So I've had a, a lot of questions on modern gun school and, and what my thoughts were on their program and and things of that sort. Uh, so I did reach out to them. They had a really good conversation um, with the uh, student advisor, one of, one of the uh, student advisors. Uh, but he does more than that as well. I can't, I can't remember, but his name was uh, Mike McClowski. And um, just just real good guy, real, real pleasant to talk to, very, very uh, professional. Um, you know, didn't, and I, and I told him in full disclosure that um, I was a, a AGI graduate and, and this, that, and other thing. And, and uh, anyway, he didn't hold that against me and was just very, very professional. And, and uh, it was really a good conversation. Uh, so, my point in telling you that is I have a lot of notes um, that I'm going to try to get uh, conveyed to you. So, bear with me throughout this. Um, so a, a little bit of a, a story. Um, the, I've been busy enough to where I, I needed a second uh, set of hands and uh, my son has had a pretty good interest in doing this. He's a pretty smart kid. He has some mechanical ability but he's young and he doesn't have uh, the experience of, you know, 50 years, um, and to keep things moving forward, um, I think it's always easier to be able to have a conversation with somebody uh, when they're learning, and so we talked about it, and, and we figured it'd be just best if he would get a, a you know, some form of formal education um, in gunsmithing so that we can have conversations and he kind of knows some things so we can just keep moving forward. Um, so anyway, you in future videos, you'll, you'll probably see him here and there uh, throughout the shop. Uh, so, and, and I'm glad to have him here. So anyway, uh, way back when, AGI uh, had told me that if if I ever got busy enough that I hired somebody and they wanted to be uh, certified then they could use my course and just pay for the uh, tests and the, the certificate and I never knew how much that was and so anyway I called them up and um, it was uh, $2,500 to take the test and, and get certified with the with the master course and uh, to be quite honest I just about fell out of my chair and um, so he said well I don't think we're going to do that I don't know that you're really going to the certification in his case unless he gets tired of me um, isn't going to help him he's 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 here um, you know helping me so it's not a not a big deal. Um, so we we dismissed it, and then uh, y'all started asking a lot of questions about modern, and um, I just decided I'd give them a call and uh, talk to them. As you guys had asked me enough questions, where I had questions, um, so in in the process of talking with modern. Um, we finished that conversation and um, my son was hanging around the shop working on some stuff during this conversation and I, I finished my conversation with uh, Mike McClowski over there and, and my boy Chris asked me, well, what do you think? And I said, well, 
it, it um, sounds like a pretty good deal and he is actually enrolled in the modern gun school um, he's he's in his uh, he just started he's in his second unit and so it's it's interesting uh, for me to observe his progress and see where his struggles are and, and what he uh, has learned and things that he can do through that um, and and we'll talk about that at the end of um, this um, so modern gun school first off uh, modern gun school is accredited um, when you when you actually uh, finish their course you're gonna get a diploma it's not even really a, a certification you actually graduate and you will get a, a, a diploma much like you would if you graduated uh, you know high school or a two-year uh, you know it's not going to be a degree but you'll get a diploma in gunsmithing they have uh, two different two different uh, courses that they offer uh, they have their basic gun repair and that's basically if if you're a hobbyist that's that's what um, their basic uh, program would be good for and, and if you're looking at the program, I have a copy of the program overview and I'll go through that. Uh, hopefully it, it's pretty lengthy. I was, I was surprised at, at what they do offer. Uh, but in their basic uh, program, you, you have uh, right through, you, you, you're going to get units one through nine and what that's going to cover it is it, it covers all kinds of things from barrel rebuilding um, and I'm trying to skim through this and, and pick out the high points um, how to run a business uh, everything about your FFL uh, cleaning bluing equipment tools and polishing um, setting up your shop how to maintain your records um, checkering and carving uh, fitting recoil pads, buying and selling firearms, uh, bookkeeping, both legal and uh, financial aspects of that, um, stock refinishing and finishing, uh, as well as uh, gun laws, and a lot about different different firearms uh, and and lessons. Um, and I'll get into all that because I, I do I am you know obviously with my son being enrolled in this I, I do have uh, some of their lessons um, then and that their basic uh, gun gun repair uh, course they, they it starts at um, the total course if you pay in full is $1,690 and it, it, it there's a, a, a lot of information in there um, and and what's really appealing to me with them is they have payment plans so to speak I don't know that they really do I'm sure they do student loans and things like that because they are accredited but if you don't want to get tied up in that, they do have payment plans. And, and so on the basic gun repair side of life, it's uh, 30, 31 lessons, uh, four hands-on projects. And the course, uh, if you pay for it in full, is $1,690. If you want to stretch it out over 19 months, um, it, it's going to cost you... Uh, basically a hundred dollars down and then a monthly payment of eighty nine dollars a month that's going to run you uh, one thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars um, if you need to stretch it out for uh, 22 months so basically um, two years it'll be uh, basically a hundred dollars down sixty nine dollars a month and then with one uh, payment which would be your 25th month of sixty six dollars um, and I'm gonna go into how all that works in a little bit 
in a little bit. Um, the the advanced gunsmithing course that is for the professional, and that has uh, 65 lessons, 17 units. Um, which I, I was I was actually uh, pretty pretty impressed with what they cover. Um, so they have and, and the way they do it. Um, so before you even start unit one, you're going to have an introduction, and it's going to be you know a history on firearms, the different types of firearms. It's really uh, beginner orientated. And, and I, I like that um, in that they assume that you know nothing and that's always a good place to start um, that way there's no confusion and you, you don't get lost um, from there you're gonna go in you're gonna go into a glossary of uh, gunsmithing terms and a vocabulary which is really good because I'll, I'll tell you I get a lot of emails and and questions on just basic terminology that isn't necessarily gone over uh, in the AGI program. A lot of people kind of figure it out the further they go along, um, but it'd be nice to, to have that right up front. Um, lesson one is where and how to begin. They, they go through the Smith & Wesson. Uh, they cover safety. They, they go through the Colt 1911. Um, they cover gun laws and gun repair. Um, how to go about completing your first project, sources of supply. They, they cover a lot of different uh, firearms and they're, they're, they're uh, pretty interesting. Um, one thing, kind of jumping ahead, uh, one thing that they go into is, is uh, you know, they'll cover obviously the Remington 700. It's one of the most popular bolt action rifles out there just because of the accessories involved. Um, they also, but they go into great detail on the Winchester Model 70, which um, I don't think you have the, uh, the Model 70, in my opinion, is not as user friendly as the Remington 700 um, but it, it's a great rifle and um, you know it, 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 it has it certainly has its place and if you understand the limitations of the 700 long action versus short action depending on what you're trying to build um, the Model 70 is a perfect fit with with very little um, uh, machining that you have to do and, and I'll get into that in a different video um, things that really jump out to me uh, separating that, that really intrigued me is they really have good lessons in bookkeeping both from the legal and the financial standpoint um, it's not a uh, their, their business uh, Part of their course isn't uh, a hokey, you know, late night TV business type of scam. It, it's legitimate. Um, they have a whole section on buying and selling. Um, they go into great detail on gun laws and legislation. Um, one thing that I I found quite interesting was they have a whole section on uh, checkering fundamentals, um, how to maintain your federal firearms records. They go into air guns, uh, and, and that may sound foolish, but you'll be surprised at, at how many uh, different air guns, you know, pellet guns, BB guns, things like that, 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 that people will bring in and, and uh, want you to fix or work on. Um, so that, I think that's great. They recognize that, and, and um, that's actually a, a, a pretty big market. Um, what else? Gunpowder and ballistics. I think that's something that that AGI could really actually stand to uh, step up on a little bit. You need to understand gunpowders and ballistics, in my opinion, to uh, really 
take your gunsmithing to the next level and if you want to uh, really get into custom rifles and things of that sort you're going to be dealing with a lot of a lot of um, custom loads and you need to have a knowledge of that um, and and now that I bring that up they actually have a whole section on on reloading uh, with with the um, I think that is probably I think that's even part of the basic I'm, I'm looking right now uh, I, b I bet it is uh, anyway, I think that's a great idea. I've, I've often advocated for that. I think if you're going to get into the custom stuff or, or you're dealing with uh, more of the high-end uh, firearms, you better understand the process of reloading, how to really read brass, um, you know, why headspace is important, how to, you know, throat, the, the depth of the throat and thing, you know, chamber and there's just a lot of good things to to know that can really help you uh, in your gunsmithing through reloading. Um, they they go into uh, you know precision filing. If uh, I had a question um, a little little bit ago, uh, and I'll address you specifically at the end of this on you know I don't have any tools and and I don't really know what to do. Um, they're going to cover things like precision filing, like how, how do you do that, how to read precision instruments, how to choose a lathe, um, how to adjust your lathe. Um, they go into silver soldering in, in great detail, step-by-step -step welding, um, balloon equipment tools, and polishing. I'm just kind of trying to give you the run rundown, pricing your service. Um, I'll be interested to see that. Uh, one thing that, that I, I do get a lot of calls on and we talk a lot about is uh, pricing your work and, and how to be competitive that way. And uh, one thing I will tell you is Brownells in their catalog every year they put in a little labor guide and it's the high and the low uh, across the nation. It's an average and that's a good place to start. Um, and then I go a step further, like when I first started, um, I called the, the shops that were um, around me, so to speak. There's nothing really around me other than cows, but I called different shops in the bigger cities and I got what their labor rates were and basically I did an average. So if I called six shops, I added up all their uh, labor rates divided it by six and and that put me right smack dab in the middle that's a good a good place to start and yes I just found it introduction to hand loading is in your seventh unit so you you even you even get a, 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 a knowledge of hand loading in the basic program like I said that's in in uh, that's invaluable um, you know basic repair methods blow-ups and cartridge nomenclature, uh, barrel repair, uh, rebuilding a barrel. Uh, they go into great detail on uh, antique restoration, which I think is is uh, really, really good, the, including uh, polishing and jeweling, um, which AGI has nothing on jeweling. It's not really that hard, um, but it's nice that, that they have it. Um, and they have a lot on jeweling actually uh, how to custom finish and plate lots on bluing, stone polishing uh, fitting, shaping and inletting stocks customizing uh, quite a bit on uh, measuring, micro measurements they have a whole dedicated section just on headspace um, and business administration. I know that's probably kind of boring, but you know a lot of people fail just because they don't know how to run their business. So I, I, I'm real big on those things. I think 
you need to you, you need to have those lessons and have them be legitimate business lessons not that late night fly by night miracle business plan um, um, and um, they go they, they have a lot on uh, muzzle loaders building and servicing um, and like I said there there's a lot I mean they just they cover a lot of different things which is which is pretty pretty interesting um, and the other thing I've kind of got, gotten that done you can find all of this information online um, you can the the other thing so if you do the uh, basic gun repair which is the the 1690 that's your your hobbyist you're gonna get four hands-on projects you're gonna have they're gonna send you a stock when you get to that point in your project and you're gonna have to finish it mail it back and it's gonna be graded um, you're gonna have to do some precision filing you're gonna have to do uh, silver soldering and you're gonna have to make uh, they, they have a whole section in there on hand tool fabrication that's really interesting to me because at the last uh, GCA which is the Gun Club of America uh, it's run by AGI um, at their last podcast there was a uh, somebody in there that had asked hey where can I find information on making hand tools they cover it uh, hand tool fabrication and the tool that you have to make is, is a it's a simple tool but it's how to fabricate a disassembly tool for a Ruger security 6 revolver or the GP uh, 100 um, if you go with the uh, advanced gunsmith which is the professional course that's going to run you if you pay for it in full that's going to run you uh, one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars if you decide to stretch it out in payments um, the cost is two thousand ninety nine dollars it's ninety nine down and twenty two payments of eighty nine dollars with a final payment of, of forty two dollars and if if you need it stretched out that's for twenty two months if you need to stretch it out for thirty months it's going to be two thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars uh, ninety nine dollars down thirty payments of sixty nine dollars and a final payment of thirty dollars um, and that's that's what I'm going to talk about now I had a long discussion with them with modern about that and the way that works is is if you sign up you can pay for it in full and you'll get everything uh, sent to you I, I still believe that they I was a little unclear on that and I didn't think to ask but I think they send things to you in sections um, so you're not bombarded with everything all at once you have to finish a section to get to the next section um, if you pay for it in full it's all automated um, if you do the payment plans with whatever payment plan you set up you're gonna pay the 99 or whatever down and then whatever bracket you're in that's what you're gonna pay every month on a specific date they'll set that up with you and you have the option of let's say you've got a couple hundred bucks kicking around and you say you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this section and this section um, you can go ahead and, and pay extra you can double up or triple up on your payments uh, as well just understand that if your normal payment is scheduled for the 15th it's still going to come out so make sure you budget for that i.e. if if I did the uh, $89 a month payment and my payments are set up on the 27th and this month we're early in the month and I and I said man I've got I'm way ahead in my I'm, I've already finished this unit I'm gonna and I've got some extra money I'm gonna go ahead and order my next two units I can let's say I double up or no we'll keep it simple I, I want to get my next unit before the due date so I send in my $89 they're gonna send that unit and then on the date uh, that the payment would normally happen they're still gonna take that out so you're 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 gonna get 
you know whatever unit would be next then anyway so just be aware of that I hope that makes sense um, just don't forget if you double up on a payment you the, the normal payment is still going to be due and they will take it out it's all done automatically um, the other thing that they do because they are accredited is if for any reason um, you you can't complete the courses or you decide this isn't for you they prorate their whole course up to a point I think once you get past the 50% mark pretty much you, you pay for it um, but up until then everything's prorated so if you pay for the course in full and you decide this isn't for you you can recoup some of your losses um, comparatively speaking with AGI uh, the minute you take your first test and the minute you take your first test you're done you don't get your money back uh, right now um, what else everything's done online when when you sign up for their course uh, there's no DVDs it's all comes in a big binder I do know um, because of some of the things that my some of the things that my son has had to go through there is some online stuff they have a whole portal for their school that's very easy to navigate um, it's a little community it's it's really kind of nice it's smooth running there's people on there that are active um, and you, you can go on there and get help and you can go on there and see where you're at and download courses if you don't want to wait for the shipments or whatever and you're paid up um, um, but you uh, so they have that your your tests are, are uh, but the bulk of it is and I think I have that here um, this this is the binder uh, that that you'll you'll get and every every whenever you get a new unit you'll just keep adding to it and um, I'll, I'll tell you what's well I'll get into that in a little bit there is there's really a lot of information to talk about so hang with me and I, I hope it all makes sense um, the online test taking process it's it's open book just I don't know how they can prevent you from doing that um, some differences between modern versus what I'm, I'm trying to get corrected with AGI is it's it's very uh, a smooth very smooth test taking process um, it's, it's not that it's 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 not easy but the answers are there and they're covered there's no trickery and if you do come across a question on your exam that you don't understand and you can't find it in your notes or, or whatever you click the little flag button on the test it'll review the that material right there on the spot it already generates a message that goes to uh, their school and if you need help they're gonna get on the phone and call you I think that is absolutely fantastic I don't know how they do that but that is something that um, AGI needs to do it's, it's automatic and it just saves a lot of time um, when you can click on a question review that material as long as the material is accurate and you're not going to be waiting around for uh, someone that either someone to call you back to answer your question you can hopefully keep moving forward uh, my boy hasn't had to use that um, but it is there and and my guessing is uh, and from what I was talking uh, when I talked to Mr. McClowski about it if the same thing gets flagged enough times they go in and fix it so I, I think that's fantastic um, and if you're not happy with your test score you can uh, do better it's not a one time and you're done you know if I think I think most of their tests you, you have to have a 70 to pass whereas AGI is a 80 or better um, but if you're not happy with that you can go through and, and retake the test um, and then uh, what else uh, so things that I really like and I think is worth mentioning um, 
so you do the professional course and I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna stick with everything is on their website at mgs.edu um, you know or you can search for modern gun school and you'll pull it up so everything I'm gonna be referencing from this point forward is the advanced their advanced uh, gunsmith course um, so let's say you had to just pay this out over the 30, 31 months and it cost you $2,200. What do you get for $2,200? Well, you get all these lessons, covers, uh, you know, revolvers, pistols, shotguns, rifles, air rifles, uh, finishing, refinishing, antique restoration. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. I, from what I've seen, it's pretty general. Uh, it's good information. Um, I, I haven't seen anything yet that gets into like full-blown custom 1911s or things like that. Um, but what does appeal to me, bear in mind, this is for two thousand um, bucks. You're gonna you 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 have uh, hands-on projects so that that you have to send in to be graded. Uh, your first project is going to be stock finishing. They're going to send you. It's it's a pretty nice stock. I've seen them. Uh, it's something that you're gonna, you know, if you do, if you do a good job on this, it's something that you're gonna want back. Um, you're gonna have to uh, do some precision filing and, and mail that in. And um, I'm looking at it right now. Is the objective of this project is to acquaint the student with the metal removal characteristics of common hand files, promote awareness of the requirements for precision in the repair or alteration of metal gun parts. I see a lot of things that are messed up because people don't know how to control a file. Uh, so I think that's great. Another big question that I get a lot is is soldering, silver soldering. Um, you're gonna you're gonna have to do that, and then you're gonna have to send it in uh, to be graded. And you're gonna do a lot of silver soldering, uh, hand tool fabrication. I already talked about that. The uh, hands-on uh, stone polishing. Uh, bluing preparation. The objective of this project is to acquaint the student with the level of surface cleanliness and polish required to produce a production quality bluing job. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a cold blue process with with um, you know just some regular uh, cold rolled steel um, but still you, you're going to do that a lot to uh, to to touch up work um, micro measurement, hands-on. They're going to send you some stuff that you're going to have to measure uh, with the with the calipers uh, and 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 understand. Uh, I'm reading it right now. The objective of this project is to provide the student with a hands-on training in micro measurement using a digital caliper measuring various gun parts to a tolerance of three decimal places, and you can get better than that. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day on on my mill and and what that reads out to and and they they were uh, like wow and and you'll see it you'll be able to see those things over time um, and then throughout your course you're going to get supplementary items that aren't nothing, that that may not may or may not be listed in their program I know which I do know that they have a big section and that is online on the AR and things like that um, different uh, gunsmithing tips and articles uh, that pertain to the industry in general so and the way that works uh, and again so I'm gonna go through this so for two thousand for twenty two hundred dollars you're gonna get all your schooling lessons you're going to have to do all the hands-on work. They supply you with all the materials and the tools to get through um, all your hands-on stuff. So you're going to get the stock and the stuff to finish the stock. You get to keep that stuff. Um, the files that you get for the precision filing, you're going to get. You're going to get to keep the files. Whatever you get for silver soldering, I don't think they're going to send you a torch. Um, I don't I don't think I didn't ask them about that uh, you're gonna get a gun stock here we go right here you're gonna get a gun stock a 12-piece file set the micrometer a universal gun cleaning kit 
uh, trigger pull gauge, India stone, digital caliper, a bore light, mainspring vise, the true oil finish from Birchwood Casey, uh, reloading DVD and reloading bench plans, and uh, an apron. Uh, the, the branded their their apron it's just a shop apron that says uh, modern gun gunsmithing school on it the other thing that you get which I think is really great is um, you're going to get not uh, not only are you going to get your big binder with all your course material in it you're going to get the exploded gun diagrams and the two volume set this was put out by the NRA um, and it's their guide to firearm uh, assembly, disassembly. Um, so those are great books, uh, and they're hard to find. Um, supplies for your project, they're going to provi provide you with the round metal stock. They're going to provide you with the common steel, the emery cloth, the acid core solder, uh, the, the flat metal stock. Uh, rifle barrel, you know, they're going to have a cut off from a rifle barrel that you're going to have to do something with, assorted shim stock and simulated barrel pieces. And those are what you're going to, those are what you're going um, to, the, 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 so my point is, is you're going to get all the materials to do all of your hands on stuff. And the way that works is like, and I'll use the gun stock for example, because I think that's something that if you do a good job, you, you might want that back. So they provide you with the uh, everything to get through that project, including the gun stock. You can do whatever you want to it. You can finish it. You can checker it. You can do whatever. You send it in to be graded. And what you're going to do is there'll be an envelope. If you want it back, you're going to send them. Basically, it covers the shipping so that they send it back to you. Um, I think that's pretty pretty good so you're just not sending in your gun stock and uh, they're you know if it's good enough they might use it for something else um, so anyway you, you get it back if, if you want and I, I think that's great because I've, I've seen uh, some of the stocks that their their students have produced and they're gorgeous um, and then you get the uh, I touched briefly on the AR I didn't see that in their course description but they do have a whole section on the AR-15 um, which is that that's good because that's a pretty a, a very popular uh, platform right now and, and it's only gaining in popularity with everything that's going on you get the FFL 123 kit um, and all of those things um, so observations I hope that answers uh, those questions um, if you do have if you do have other questions you can contact MGS directly um, it seems to me uh, their number is 1-800-493-4114 and again I talked to uh, Mike McClowski over there real good guy um, so basically what, I, what I'll say is with their payment plans and what you get and what you get out of it it is more than reasonable um, especially when you compare that price to uh, AGI or SDI you, you know you're looking at 18 months to two years depending on how you stretch it out I think you could if you pay for it in full uh, you could probably get done in a, in a lot less time than 18 months um, but it's very very affordable you get tools you get some basic skills that are that you're going to use um, and, and I, I, I believe it'll it'll get you going um, the only the only I guess you could say downfall that I see is is most of it is written well a lot of it's written i.e. you don't get to see uh, you know like when they cover the 1911 uh, assembly disassembly, disassembly assembly you don't get to see somebody take it apart it's it's you're, you're following directions um, and looking at a, at a parts diagram and I, I don't I don't think that's a, a bad way to do it and, and I'll explain uh, why so as I mentioned at the beginning of this, 
after talking to Mike, this is where um, my son decided, you know, we talked about it and he enrolled. Um, he just started, he's on his second unit. Um, and, and what you'll get in your first unit is this welcome kit, which has all kinds of information and, and, and things of that sort. And, and actually, you don't even have to wait on this. You can, you, when you enroll, you can go ahead and download your first unit right off the internet and get and get trucking that's what he did i think he was almost finished with that before it even showed up in the mail um but he's he's into his his second unit this is everything that he's gone through uh so far um and there things that just because i know i've been through both courses things that i think could stand to be learned um, is before he even had to take a test, he had to take a test on how, you know, he had to take a, a, a basic English test, what they call comprehension, um, and, and get and pass that. And it, it's it's nothing very hard, but it just it gets your mind, you know, if you're older and you haven't been in school for a while, it gets your mind rewired to learn. Um, and so it's just a, a, a basic. Uh, refresher course and in, in comprehension um, other things that I need to mention because I just looked at it in his binder that you you do need to do with them is if uh, because they are accredited uh, you are going to have to send in either your uh, a copy of your high school diploma transcripts transcripts GED or um, whatever your highest level of education you completed is you have to be a high school graduate at least uh, to, to do this um, which again I, I think that's I think that's uh, really good um, getting into the course itself and this is pretty interesting because I'm looking at it I try to stay out of my son's business a little bit and and it's it's partly uh, an experiment on my part and and I don't want to be the the overbearing dad in in this deal um, I really like the way the courses are laid out they're simple to follow they're simple to follow there's an order to everything so that everything kind of makes sense um, you know like with the with the AGI um, it can get jumbled real fast one minute you'll be talking about this and then Bob will jump back to when he was like six years old running through the woods you know blah 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 and four hours later you don't know what the hell you're talking about this is laid out very systematically very easy to follow there's a lot of things that I, I think like I said and it's it's meant so that even if you don't know anything about uh, firearms it's meant for that it covers all of that for example if, if you don't know about which I I had to go back and go through uh, the AGI course because I don't think there was anything in there on chokes how to install chokes how to measure that the chokes are working right it's covered in their introduction to shotguns everything you need to know about chokes and patterns and installation is there um, the other thing is is uh, what calibers are good for what and how to really uh, set up uh, you know if you're dealing with a hunting rifle how you should really set those up uh, for hunting um, because what a, what a lot of people will do is they'll zero the rifle at 100 yards and whatever it, it, you know so it zeroed at 100 yards. That's going to change if you're if you're closer or further away, uh, you know. And you need to you need to uh, understand those things, um, so that if if your customer is out there and they're hunting, if if it's 300 yards away, they still have a clean shot. If they're 60, I don't ever get that lucky. But if they're 60 yards away they still have a clean shot and, it, and it, it, you're not going to induce a situation where there's a lot of unnecessary uh, suffering. Um, 
in any way, I, I think that's great. There's a lot of really good things in their course. This is all covered in their gunology uh, section. They also go into great detail about setting up your business. They use it more from a like gun sales uh, point of view. Um, you know, things that you would do in the fall, things that you do in the spring, things that you do in the summer and the winter, getting ready for different seasons or events or blah, blah, blah. But that can easily be converted over to uh, if, you're ju if you're just gunsmithing. Because um, I know I do that. I know the, the, what my shop does during hunting season. Uh, deer season is very different than what we do during dove season and, and you know, duck season or turkey season or whatever so i i have different things i have more of this on hand uh during this period than i would any other period because the demand is going to be greater and and i think that's important because again it goes to running your business how to you know run specials how to get involved with different events all of that's important to get your name out there it probably sounds common sense uh, but you'd be surprised at how many people uh, don't understand those things. Um, and then um, the, the thing that I, I like, the other thing I like just going through uh, all of his is he has these little uh, self-check lessons, um, which I don't mean to be giving out his work, but he has, like on this, his lesson, his third lessons, it says uh, the the short answer his question is how do you raise a dent in a stock and he has to uh, write that out um, you know there's no multiple choice he writes it out and I think that's great uh, what are the two components of epoxy glue and how are they mixed resin and hardener mixed in equal parts that's a good short answer um, describe how to how to assemble a hand to a trigger. Use a screwdriver to depress hand lever against hand lever spring. Um, you know, so it, it's not multiple choice. The online tests are multiple choice, but these questions, you, you actually got to write them out in a short answer form. He does have some uh, multiple chest test questions on these things, but um, my point is, it's, it's I'm, I'm really impressed with the course and for the money you, I think you get a tremendous amount of bang for your buck I think um, there's enough information out there um, to where this could easily get you into uh, gunsmithing without having to remortgage your home um, and it will certainly get you in to the door of a shop of an established shop uh, because you can have a conversation, a real conversation, with somebody about different different things. Um, the other thing that I like about it is is uh, I was looking at a lot of his uh, diagrams and um, let's see if I can find one. A lot of his uh, like the 1911 and I guess that's way up here. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, so they like the Model O 1911. You actually have when you read the assembly dis the disassembly the disassembly assembly uh, procedure. And I'm just using the 1911 because that's that's what I what I looked at, uh, but it's what I opened up to first. It is. Uh, it is the Colt manual that's what it is it's the colt manual you're looking at they have a a colt parts list with all the factory part numbers you're looking at the colt uh breakdowns and schematics with all of their their part names and everything so it's it's uh it's it's really good and i think that matters because you're not getting hung up and this guy calls this that and that guy calls it this and that other fella calls it something completely different everything is is the is the same uh, to that part it's standardized and and that's the way that the, un, unfortunately that's the way the industry is um, so that people can have conversations about these things and that appears to be the way all of their when you learn about all of their different calibers that that they cover that that appears to be uh, let me just get that out of the way that appears to be what what it is is your 
So like when you go through the uh, the Ruger number no. three single shot carbine or the Winchester model 55, you're going to be reading the, the factory uh, process. I think that's great. You're not reading somebody's ideas. This is how they do it at the factory. Um, and again, I, I, I'm really, I, I was really uh, blown away. I think uh, this is a great, a, uh, this is a great, I think, I think it's a really good program. Um, one thing that is really, I noticed right off the bat, and I was wondering how this was going to go, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Um, my son has a 1911. He, he really likes the 45. I don't really, I don't, you know, people can say what they want, but nothing fits your hand like a 1911. They just, they fit really nice in your hand. And in uh, my opinion, his, uh, lots of people's opinions. Um, yeah, they might be dated on capacity and things like that, but it's, it's just a good feeling gun. Well, anyway, he has... He has a 1911, and, and he has a, a real Colt, um, 1911, 45 ACP, and he's like, you know, I've never really taken it down, taken it down to do anything with it, and um, he he wanted to uh, he wanted to learn that. This was before we went into school, so I tossed him the the uh, 1911 course, and I said, D just watch the section on assembly disassembly and um you know you'll you'll be fine and i watched him uh for weeks on end uh i don't want to say struggle but because i don't think he struggled with it it was just very frustrating to him because here he is he just wants to take the thing apart to clean it to really detail clean it and he was overwhelmed with all this other stuff this is how this does that which i think is good and it's necessary to understand that um but anyway he got really overwhelmed and i watched him do this for a long time where basically he would separate the slide from the receiver and that was about as far as he would go then he got to his uh, mgs test on the 1911 how to take it apart and put it back together and so he got his out and he followed the directions written down in the book with nothing more than a schematic and he got through it easy peasy um he had he had one little question for me and it was it was you know it was actually a good uh question um it had something to do with the uh the mainspring and um but he did it and, and it it was very uh, a very uncomplicated thing for him and i was really worried about that part of the course because how how are, are people going to be able to do this without being able to be without being able to see it being done and he, i didn't help him he didn't watch it on youtube he didn't even reference the agi course on it he just followed the directions in the book and he did it all by himself and got it put back together and without missing parts or losing parts and it, it works fine um and what i found uh from that is how overwhelming if you're a beginner novice gunsmith i'll say or, or you're not your, your aptitude is of a novice nature with firearms i don't want to say novice gunsmith but if, if if you if you just haven't been around it and you haven't been taking things apart and putting things back together for your entire life um and you sit down and you watch the agi video on uh disassembly assembly you get hit with so much information your brain just goes and you lose all your magic smoke and what i've noticed with the mgs course is they have a whole section on how it works this is what everything does this is how it works this is how it functions this is how it's designed they have they have the history design function common problems parts you're going to want to have on hand 
if, if you work on a lot of these tools you're going to want to have on hand if you work a lot on a lot of these that's all separate and then you get to the assembly disassembly part and then you get into the common repair it's a very systematic approach so you're not just getting hit with everything all at the same time it's like the, the agi video you got to learn you know you learn about firing pin protrusion how what material on the hood needs to come off more than the other at the same time you're trying to figure out how to take the damn thing apart so it's just broken down into um uh i'll say it this way with smaller bites you know so that it's a lot easier to digest and pro process that information so i think it's really good i think it's a great value being that you you get tools uh to get you going i don't think you get any screwdrivers or punches um but like like i you know if you're starting out you can you can get on you can get on amazon and, and look up the lyman master gunsmith set and and you'll get a, a good set of punches the screwdriver tips and you know it's, it's meant to compete with the brownells magnet tip but you're going to get punches hammers trigger pull gauge a little mat um and things like that and that that'll keep you out of trouble for a long time uh anyway i hope that answers questions i had a lot of questions on what would you do and i am i am very impressed with their course i think the price point is perfect i i think they they do a lot for what you're 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 having uh to pay to be honest when you compare that to agi agi is 10 grand there's no hands-on there's no projects to really uh prove to them that you know what you're doing unless you go through the the machine course and which you don't have to to graduate um and 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 it i i i'll just be i'll i'll keep you updated on this just to see how this progresses but so far i'm i'm very impressed i'm very impressed on the conversation that he can have with me um uh, like i said he 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 um he doesn't he's been on this earth for 22 years he doesn't have the experience he doesn't he he um he hasn't you know i grew up with guns we grew up hunting and fishing and doing all those things um I went in the military and worked on all kinds of, you know, I have my, my background with firearms is, is a lot greater than his. And he's really coming at it from um, the angle that he just doesn't know. I mean, you know, he really doesn't know. If I handed him a rifle before this course and said, I want you to go zero this, um, you know, the, the, the place, the the patch that we're going to be hunting in right now you're going to be looking out to 400 yards you need to zero this for anything within that range um before this course he couldn't have done that he'd have looked at me like i was speaking chinese and now he can do it uh, i think that speaks uh volumes and so um i do i do the the in fact the only thing um that i haven't seen in their course that, that right now uh, would have made me go switch my mind is if they had some sections on custom rifle building and custom pistol making I think my my choice would have been uh, a lot different because just of the the the, the price point and what you get um, I think there's some ground to be uh, made up there on on agi's part if if they want to remain uh competitive i mean you know i've watched sdi sonoran that's not what this video is about but i've even watched sonoran desert institute go leaps and bounds over over the past year year and a half um to where agi's just got to start paying attention to these things or, or they're not going to be around um they've made some steps in the right direction uh, but just, you know, if you came to me having gone through the course, and I, it's well documented what I paid for the course, but if, if they didn't have that, and I was looking at $10,000 uh, for the AGI course, this is, I can tell you what I would have done, is I would have gone, I would have spent the, the two grand or fifteen, you know, 1700 
or uh, no, excuse me, I want to get this right. I would have spent the two grand on the modern gun school, and then if I really had my heart set on building custom rifles, I would have enrolled in uh, Gordy Gritter's uh, long range uh, rifle building class down there in Florida. I could have gone, and then you, if you want to do handguns, you can go to uh, Barb Marvel's uh, school for, for custom hand, you know, uh, pistols. Um, and then I have a good, uh, friend of mine. Well, <clears throat> I say he's a good friend of mine. Uh, I'm a fan. He does, he, he does really good work. He's, is a very well respected gunsmith and that's Chad Albrick. Uh, he's up in Rhode Island or Connecticut, but anyway, he founded, um, which is, is a limited membership, uh, group but he founded School of the American Rifle and what he did is basically the same thing I saw a need for was bridge the gap between the, the Stone Cold Armor and Gunsmith as it pertains to uh, gas impinge impingement AR rifles and, and you can go to that class and, and, and still come out and get real hands-on uh, training from some of the best in the world and still come out ahead of what AGI offers. Um, now I didn't know any of that when, when I went through, now I know, so it's my job to pass that along. So there's, like I've said many, many times, um, there's a lot of different avenues, there's a million ways to skin the cat. Um, if I can help you find the best way for you to skin the cat that you have, uh, you know, I'm gonna do that, uh, but I think I think MGS is is uh, a pretty pretty legitimate. Um, like I said, they're 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 um, they are accredited, um, in in several uh, actually there's several different states. They have an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. They're post 9/11 and Montgomery GI Bill approved. Uh, because they're accredited, they have the access to financial aid and things of that sort. So um, get on their website and check them out. I don't. I think if AGI is out of your price point, this will this will get you there. And there's enough information that I wish AGI had covered. Um, you know, I'm lucky. I've been around this for a long time, so there's a lot of those things that I kind of knew know. But if you don't. Um, they're not setting you up as good as they could for the money that um, with some of their things, which is things that you're going to be doing a lot of, uh, the MGS just maybe does a little bit better. And certainly the, the, the lesson layout is a lot smoother and it's a lot easier to follow. And the tests are straightforward. There's no trickery um, or, or anything like that. It's not easy. You're going to have to use your brain. Um, but uh, there, there's every all the information that you need, they give you, and I think that's important. So anyway, I hope that uh, helps you make a decision. Um, I know it's an, it's another long video. I hope uh, it's worth it though. And then one thing, I'm going to try to get this pulled up real quick. I, I got this uh, the other day, and I wanted to answer it. Okay, so the the I, I got it. I'm sorry, but this this question I kind of got it. I uh, this came in two days ago, and he wrote uh, D H Gunworks. Oh, okay, he he had a question about the schools and tools. And he, he wrote, for someone like myself, I'm 27 years old, I don't have any tools at all. I'm ne not even sure where to start in all this, but I'm very interested in this new path I'm considering taking. Do you recommend that I enroll in this program? I've seen comments saying I would need to find projects to work on myself, so just not sure what to do. Thanks a lot for the response. I really appreciate it. And what he was referencing was um, the, the little video I did on um, kind of my journey through uh, the American Gunsmithing Institute. Now, this is for you. I think, I think um, for you, depending, and I invite you to, to uh, you can text me 
Uh, I did reply to that on on YouTube, and and you, my information is there, so you can uh, reclaimer one 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 two. You can look that up, and you know, feel free to get in touch with me. Um, I talk to people all the time. Um, you know, you can text me, email me, call me, and and because um, there's there's a lot that goes into that decision. You're asking me to help you out, and I don't know really where your strong suits are or what you're going to need need to really focus on but being that you don't have any tools and you're worried about the hands-on stuff I mean no matter what you do I guess is what I'm going to say no matter what you do nothing beats hands-on uh, especially when you're you know whether you're mechanicking you know you're turning wrench you're building a house you're you're you know gunsmithing or whatever it is if you're in a technical trade welding whatever um, you can read how to do it and you can understand how to do everything up here in your brain but then when it actually comes to do it you've just stepped into the real world and that dynamic can change I remember um, when I was in the service I went through uh, gunners made a school and um, you know on our graduation day um, that but basically what what the what the, the the head cheese said the head chief said you know you graduated that's great um, don't lose sight of the theory but throw everything else away everything that you learned to do you learned how to fix this and you learned how to fix that and you learned this and you, you can take all that and throw it away because it's going to change when you get to the fleet and sure enough it did um, the, the theory is what you relied on to get you out of those trouble spots. That's where the education is. But but my point in saying that is the how-to part changes almost all the time because things are different. And so nothing beats hands-on. So if depending on what you've done in the past, where your mechanical abilities are, machining, not machining, you know, I have a big background in uh, mechanics and things like that uh, this was a pretty easy transition for me to make if you don't have that background uh, hands-on is certainly going to help you um, MGS the modern gun school does give you um, some good hands-on uh, instruction on very common uh, things that you're going to have to do and I've seen I've seen experienced people get these wrong they've been doing it for a long time so even though it's common don't mistake common for simple um, the other the other alternative is is SDI uh, they have a lot of labs they're gonna you know you're gonna have a lot of hands-on uh, stuff I'm just not sure I, I think they're the, the, it's quite a bit more you're you're pushing upwards of you know 20 to 23,000 but that's also a degree program. You, you'll come out of that with a degree in uh, I have firearms technology. Uh, do, uh, you come out of that with an associates of science in firearms technology. Um, <clears throat> th this isn't about SDI, but my, my point is is yeah, AGI. You're you're going to have to source all that stuff on your own, and you're going to have to kind of keep yourself busy that way where at least with modern or SDI those projects are, are part of your coursework they're gonna send you that stuff and um, although moderns might be uh, seemingly simplistic they are very common uh, I can speak to the the stone polishing and filing often uh, people that really don't understand how to do that can often uh, bastardize that and, and really create uh, very dangerous situations so I think it's great that they do that silver soldering filing polishing stock refinishing all of those things you're gonna if you want to do gunsmithing you're gonna be called on to do uh, anyway uh, again if if you have any more questions um, you know reach out to me and um, call me email me text me whatever and that goes for anybody um, outside of that guys that's that's it i hope that answers some questions on uh, mgs modern gun school um, seems to be a really good legitimate uh, place to learn really
covers a broad range of uh, of topics. There's some things, quite a bit of things in there. I wish AGI would get their head wrapped around. Uh, Air guns is one of them. Uh, a real deal kind of business course would be uh, another one. Um, and just try to try to um, make the course a little bit easier to follow and, and uh, seamless so that the beginner, beginner novice uh, can get through this without, um, in AGI's words, their, their hair catching on fire and those things. Um, and then, and then uh, sadly, uh, I heard a rumor that, that the AGI is, is done with their specials. They're moving away from that. Um, I think they're going to have to take a long, hard look at where they fit in in the bigger scheme of things and really look at what some of these other schools are offering and adjust their pricing accordingly because, um, like I said before, for, for ten grand, I could have gone a completely different different route and saved a lot of money. Um, you live and you learn, and that's what this channel is about, to pass this information on, on to you guys so you can be better informed. Um, I think one thing I do take very seriously, and then I'm, then I'm done uh, with this for today, one thing I do take very seriously is as uh, a teacher, um, I think it's the teacher's goal to produce students that are better than they were uh, sooner, quicker. And that's part of it. You know, if, if I had it to do over again, there's things that I'd have done differently. Um, that's just being honestly, and, and if that hurts some people's feelings, that's, that's too bad. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think if they, they, they got a real good program that, that will certainly get you going as a gunsmith. So, that's it guys uh thanks for spending this time with me thanks for all the questions and uh thanks for watching the channel and and helping it grow and all of those and and um you know stay safe out there and and we'll catch you soon